<laughs> What's good, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices. This this is uh for me, this is super legendary. I've been watching this guy for a minute and watching him dominate the league for a minute. I know I got I don't have a Clippers hat, but I got my LA hat. I had to rep. I had to rep for who we have today. And and this is big for me. Like this guy has been so dominant for so long. He's made it through so many adversities, but every time he always finds a way to just like prove himself every game. I don't even know if he has to prove himself at this point, but he still finds a way to leave his mark on the court every time. He's one of the most elite, well-rounded players in the NBA today. Always talking about continuing to just leave his stamp, man. PG-13, he should be rated R because he really go super crazy on the court, but PG-13, Paul George, how you doing, man? What's good? I'm good. I'm good. Pleasure. Pleasure. Um, I'm good, man. You know, staying on the grind. That's always the case every summer, you know, try to add something new, bring something new to the table. And, you know, I've been working my butt off this summer. So, you know, I still believe the best is still in front of me. That's a fact, man. I was just watching before before we even set this up. I was watching. I'm always on YouTube seeing who who's like playing like at, at Heinz and Enrico and all that stuff. And I saw you hooping, bro. And I was like, this like, what's that video? Like, that, this man don't miss. And like you still go crazy, bro. It's like you like you, you don't lose a step, and you, it's crazy to even think that you're like a seasoned vet at this point. You know what I mean? You've just been going crazy, and you haven't lost a step. And like on that too, like you know, I'm seeing you play with John Wall, who's your new te teammate, who's also playing super hungry because I know he has a lot to not a lot to prove. Probably has a lot to prove for himself this season. He wants to really make a stamp and has a good mm -hmm. team with him. So uh, I'm wondering, like you know. With this team that you have and this, you know, you, you know, the, the playoff run that you made last season and you helped push the team to, how has your mind kind of shifted heading into this new season, kind of, you know, after last season, the summer grind you've been putting in? What is that mindset like as you shift into this upcoming season? Yeah, I think um I think for me, I, I think what is the most beautiful thing about it is I'm just in such a a, a great uh mindset. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've accomplished from my own self, I, I, I've accomplished the answers or, or I've answered the, the questions that needed to be answered um, about myself. Yeah, I haven't won to the highest level yet. I haven't been a champion yet. Um, but I think I have the champion spirit. I think I have the champion mindset. Um, and that's going to come. I honestly believe that's still in my future. I will be a champion at some point. Um, but I think for me going into the season, man, it's, it's, I, I just feel just that much more at ease. You know, I'm, I'm getting to play with some of the best players in the league still. Um, and my body feels great. I feel like I'm in such a good place physically, um, to where now, like, you know, it's, it is what it is. When I step on that court, I know what to expect. Um, I know what I can bring and I know what I'm going to give on, on every night. And that's really where I leave it at, you know, uh, make misses, you know, everybody's, I'm going to go through struggles. I'm going to have my ups, my downs. Um, but I think what people don't realize is every time I step on the floor, I, I, I'm out there to win. I'm going to play to win. I'm going to give everything I have. I might, I might selfishly shoot myself out of the game uh, and, and, and selfishly, like, I could have maybe did things better, but my whole thing is like, hey, I'm I'm trying to win. Like I'm out here to win. And so, you know, I think that's what you're gonna see this year is it's just a, a different atti attitude towards winning. I feel that. And I and I see, you know, you're talking about like this a different attitude. And with that different attitude, like I said, you have a different team. You've added pieces, you got some like true vets on there. Nicholas Batum is there, John Wall's there. So you have some people who are really coming in to really add into this team. And, you know, personally for me, not even like on no hype, hype it up, you know, da, 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 the Clippers look really good. Like I'm mm -hmm. talking about the best overall, I mean, like well-rounded team, the depth y'all have is crazy. So I guess I really like, how do you feel about this team? I know you told about kind of how your mindset is and, you know, how you kind of feel when you step on the court and, you know, how you approach the game, but how do you feel about the team overall heading into this new season? Yeah. I mean, I, I think when you look at what the league did, everyone around the league, a lot, majority of teams made, you know, some, some trades, they added some new pieces. I think when you look at our team, we kept the same team and we added uh, John Wall, who is, you know, uh, talent wise, he's cream of the crop, you know, and, and he's back, 
you know, I know people seen the highlights at, at Rico's and uh, whatnot, but I've been able to see him on a daily basis. And that was just, you know, that was just a small sample of what the world saw um, at Rico Hines. I mean, I, I've gotten to see him, you know, really be explosive, really have that quickness um, and then shooting the heck out of the ball. So, you know, we, we're, we're getting a fresh and, and you know, ready um another leader in, in, in J Dub. So I'm I'm excited to have him on the team. He's gonna bring so much value to our team. Um when you think about how our team is made up, we never had a downhill transition player. Um and now we're adding that to our team. So I think that just adds another another level of, you know, firepower that that we haven't had. And so um, you know, we're we're excited. We're excited to get get things going and, and you know get get the ball rolling. Y'all going to be so fun to watch this year, man. Like, I'm like, I can't even explain to you. And I'm a big John Wall fan, too. So, like, when I saw him go there, I was like, oh, yeah, he's good. Like, he's he's in good company. Like, I know he's going to thrive there, too. And just didn't get y'all's chemistry in that little, like you said, that little bit, that chemistry. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine going into the season and watching it really work and him being hungry and things like that. Because, you know, I feel like John Wall also has stuff to prove to, to himself. And mm-hmm. I guess, too, like, you know, I kind of I kind of touched on it a little bit. I know you kind of talk, talked about you know the goal in the court when you go in there, so you know make an impact is to win. And I, how can I kind of say this? So when it comes, to, you know, I know you said you want to get the championship, and you know you still feel like you have the opportunity. When you get on the court, no matter all the outside noise, you know, no matter how the game's going, do you feel like you always have something to prove constantly, whether it be to yourself or whether it be to the team? Like, do you feel like you kind of always have that chip on your shoulder when it comes to like playing for that championship and competing every night? No, nah, not not anymore. Um, not not anymore. I don't I don't play with that. Um, me against the world attitude anymore because that only thing that did was was kill the person that I am. Um, that 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 kind of just it was driving me crazy playing with that attitude that I had to go out and prove something to somebody that can't do what I do. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so when that finally. Uh, when when that finally eased over on me and I was able to go out there and just enjoy it, enjoy being with my teammates, um, enjoy playing with the guys that suit up with me every day. Um, now, I mean, I just got a different passion. I'm still out there to kill and, 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 and be the best player on the floor at all times. Like, that's always my mindset. I go on the court to try to be the best player and help my team as, as, as much as I can um, and, and come out the winner. That's going to always be my mindset, but the mindset that I have to go and prove something to, to somebody else, um, that, that part of me is just gone. You know, uh, I, it's just wasted energy. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna do all prove everything I have to prove to myself with the work that I put into my craft, the dedication that I have for the game of basketball and just the love that I have for the game of basketball, uh, everything else will fall into place. I love to hear that too, because you know I, I know like when I was talking about like, depression, you know how like the bubble and things like that. So I think hearing you say that is really good because having playing with that chip, playing with that mindset, you know, people who are just really just planting bad seeds that they can't even grow or water themselves, like mm-hmm. that really takes a toll on you mentally too. So the fact that that's where you are now and you you're out of that role and you know and you know it's about what you bring to the table and what you prove to yourself and really what you're just focusing on you. That's really mm-hmm. good, especially from a mental health perspective. So that's that's really good to hear. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing too is that people see the work that you do on the court all the time, but what they don't see is the work that you do off the court, the how you affect how you impact the community. And with that being said, with this being community voices, we're making sure that you continue that mission with the Paul George Foundation as we donate 20k to the foundation to keep pushing the mission forward. Um, for the people who may not be as familiar with that work that you kind of do with Paul George Foundation, would you kind of let them know, you know, what is it and you know the mission? Um, the mission is obviously my mother had a stroke when I was a kid. Um, so that part always touches dear to my heart. Um, so we partnered with the American Association um, for for stroke awareness. Um, so, so that's first and foremost. We do a lot of community work with the kids. Um, I do a fishing foundation. Um, you know, we've brought kids to uh to to uh space camp out of my my community in palmdale um we renovated courts back in palmdale 
Um, you know, really, when you think of what my foundation is involved in, it's the youth and being outdoors and um, family. Um, that's the three core things I would say that my foundation kind of stands on. And um, that's that's just, you know, that's how I got to where I am. And, and um, that's going to be continue to be who I am. I love that because, you know, like, you know, it's a lot has changed over the years. You know, you're a husband now, you're a father, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's, like I said, always just flourished through adversity. So like, you know, in your own words, kind of how important is it for you to continue to do that? You know, no matter how basketball goes, no matter how things go outside of that, how important is it to continue to have that impact and like, you know, affect the next generation, really? Yeah, I mean, that's that's extremely important. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is I, I won't play basketball for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, I want to be remembered far more than just a basketball player. Um, I want to be able to touch people well after I'm done playing or picking up a basketball. So um, especially people that look like me. And uh, if I can help them, uh, help their course, help them understand that there is uh, obtainable things in life, uh, whether you can reach it or you think you can reach it or not, it's there for you if if you just put, you know, that attention, that effort, um, that time, um, and 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 you really just stay on a steady path. Um, anything is achievable. So um, that's that's kind of the thing I've always uh, hung my hat on is uh, kind of being relatable um, and and having especially kids understand. You know, I came from the same places as you guys came from, and um, you know, it, you can turn dreams into reality. A thousand percent. And, and cause those little moments, just, you know, those little events, those meetings, those talks, a lot of people, you know, somebody's always watching and that, that little moment can change somebody's day. It can, you know, literally like change their lives. It could save people's lives. There's been conversations that you have where somebody just sees you smile or sees you acting a certain way that like does something to their spirit that pushes them forward. So like you're a thousand percent, right? Like having that impact, and, you know, just being more than, you know, the athlete that you are is extremely important. I, I love to hear that. Now, mm -hmm. I could talk, I could pick your brain all day because I've I'm, I'm <laughs> been a PG fan for a minute. But I want to respect your time, too. So I have to ask this last question. This is probably one of the one of the bigger questions, too. Okay. So, you know, you have you have the game calendar out. You know, if you have to circle three games on this upcoming season calendar that you're looking forward to, what would they be? Mm. You know what? I never that that that's never really been my 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 thing. Um looking ahead in the calendar. Um I've always kind of done it game by game, but you know, the obvious is is opening night. Um the matchup against the Lakers. That's that's always for me it's the fun matchups, whether it's it's you know, I, I don't feel I, I personally have bad blood or Clippers team have bad blood with any team so it's not a it's it's not a iron the calendar because we want revenge or we want this or that um it's more so that you know we know which ones are going to be the the fun interesting you know going to bring the best out of us um games and it's and it's of course the opener against Lakers um anytime anytime you get to go against defending champs um you know the Warriors is definitely on up on the list and I think, you know, opportunity to go against, we don't know yet, but one of the top teams out East in Milwaukee, um, I think those three teams are great measuring sticks for what we're trying to do in the long run. And, um, you know, I think just great way for us to kind of line up and see where we at um, as a team. Um, so if we are, if I'm looking at the, cal the calendar and picking out three games, I think, I think those three opponents is, uh, is, is on the list. Those are, that's a that's a fire three games to circle for sure. And because honestly, if I'm being truthful, I don't know who like that's those are just good games. Those are good games we're gonna right. compete. Like, yeah, that's 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 a good answer right there. It was a good three games right there. So look, man, thank you. Uh, if we if we we could add one more team, we'll throw Boston in there. No, yes, <laughs> yes. That's, that's a good one, too. I'm telling you, like, y'all's team, like, any given night, y'all can go crazy. Like, y'all's team is so deep, so well-rounded. Like, if I haven't been playing 2K in a while, but if I was on 2K, I'm telling you, nobody was nobody would be beating me right now with the Clippers. Right. 
<laughs> all right. <laughs> but man, listen, I guess I pick your brain all day, but I gotta respect the time. I gotta let you go. Thank you for joining the episode of Community Voices, man. I'm really, really like genuinely from the bottom of my heart looking forward to seeing you go crazy this off season, and I'm certainly rooting for you, man. So thank you very much for Appreciate joining me today. Yes, sir. It's love, homie. Thank you. Appreciate you. See y'all next time. Take care. <laughs>